Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video I am going to be showing you guys how to make this very cool and simple air gun. As you can see I've already made one, but luckily for you guys I have enough materials to do it again. So, let's get started. So for this project, what you will need is a hand bicycle pump, a pen, a salad dressing container with the lid that opens up like that, um, some tape, electrical tape works great, ammunition that fits inside your pen, I have a little dowel, clothes hanger or hook, some valves, a bike tire or tubeless tire valves or whatever, scissors, and a hot glue gun. First, we're going to connect your valve inside of the tube and do so right about there. And to do this, make sure always to make everything we do here airtight. So simply, I'm going to use my scissors to cut a hole in the side that is the same diameter as that little ring right there and it'll fit in perfectly. There's the hole that I've made and as you can see it is the perfect size that it clicks in just like that. Now to put it inside of the bottle all I've done here is hooked it on the end of a cut off clothes hanger and angle it just like so with the hole at the top only move the bottle, don't move the hanger, and thread it through just like that. If you're trying to do it without the hanger, it'll take you about five years. So just please do it this way, and then pull it through just like you did at the other side until it clicks in place. Now to seal it up, I'm gonna use my hot glue gun. Just simply putting hot glue around the edges just like that and I just ran out of this glue stick so I'm going to get another one and show you guys what it looks like. So while that dries there we're going to work on the barrel assembly. For the barrel assembly get your little ballpoint pen here remove the end cap and the cap on the other end and then take out the inky part oh, but leave in uh oh leave in this black part take out the ink part so there it is and i've also cut it to around an inch and a half and so this will be our barrel now the next step is to grab your electrical tape and leave about literally a sixteenth of an inch on the end and wrap it all around that way just like this just to add a bit of dimension so there's the end of it there and now what you're going to do is take the cap of the salad dressing and simply place this upside down like that as you can see the little lip that we made will rest nicely inside of that hole just like that and from the other side you can see that the whole holes line up nicely and now take your glue gun, this is very important, and add the glue on this side of it only, not on the side near the threads, because then when you go to put it back on, if you did put glue in there, I learned this the hard way, you won't be able to put it back on the lid of your salad dressing bottle, and it won't cause an airtight seal. So only put it on the back end and maybe a little bit on this end just to make it airtight but not too much. So when you're done it should look something like this. Minimal hot glue if you can tell at the back there. Big daub up front. And now just simply screw it on like this and then to test if it's airtight give the bottle a squeeze. Listen for any um, air releases either around the valve or the top up here if you didn't seal that correctly air could escape out there 
but if you listen to mine, you can't hear much. But if it was leaking up here, an easy fix I just thought of is just get your hot glue gun and put some hot glue just in a line right here and then just load up all around here and then quickly before it dries screw it in and wait for it to harden and it'll be a perfect seal no matter what but mine's a perfect seal so there it is fully completed I have attached my bicycle pump if you want you can add a support between here and here but it's pretty strong so I don't think it's that necessary now to load it up open up your salad dressing like you usually would except this time you're gonna drop in your bullet which I have this dowel that weighs huh, quite heavy like definitely 5-10 grams so it's pretty heavy so it might not go that far then close it up so as you can tell it is stuck in between there and when you pump up your valve it'll gain pressure inside here until the top bursts off and thing will come flying out let's do some testing so before we start the shooting test, I'm going to put on my safety glasses just because we're working with high pressure and there's always the chance of a puncture or something going wrong. So please be safe when you're doing this. But anyway, I have my piece loaded up there and we're going to be trying to shoot that little, well actually quite big cardboard box over there. So let's see how it goes. It takes quite a few pumps to get up to pressure, but here we go. Oh, has a leak, let's fix that. All right, I fixed the leak, let's, uh, let's try again. There you go. That worked pretty well. Let me try one more time, maybe with different ammo. All right, so I couldn't find any more ammo, but if you saw how far that shot the metal, the metal piece right here, it probably weighs, oh God, like 20 times or more that an airsoft BB does and same six millimeter diameter. So if you had an airsoft BB, it could easily go 20 times as far and fast just because of the mass ratio. But uh, yeah. So, sorry I don't have any airsoft BBs with me here to test it, but I really wanted to show you guys this as fast as possible and didn't want to have to go buy any of those. So, I really hope you enjoyed the project. This can really shoot anything that fits snugly in the barrel, so keep that in mind. And quickly before I stop this video, I'd like to say uh, please subscribe if you aren't already as I'm nearing the 100,000 subscribers. And I'm hoping to do a really cool giveaway contest, like an airsoft gun or paintball gun or something like that. And I'll be releasing a really cool announcement. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click that big red subscribe button right there. And also, check out some of my other videos by clicking the links on the screen.